please don't pay attention to all the towels on the back. I actually managed to do that laundry that I've been putting off for a little while. And the only thing is that I forgot to put in more time for the towels to dry. So I have to hang them all up here in hopes that they dry before they start to smell weird. Because you know, if you wash clothes and you keep them wet for a while, they smell strange. So that's why my living room is literally covered in towels. Anyways, I wanted to make a video quickly discussing Pokemon and the fate of Pokemon, what exactly is going to be happening with any potential games that could be coming out this year. And when I say games, I'm not talking about them spin-offs, but I'm referencing directly those, um, you know, well, I don't know, the main series games, those, those, you know, like X and Y, Black and White, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, all those. Now, we didn't get an announcement for a new game like that coming out this year. And the thing that's odd about this is that it's kind of been a trend for Game Freak for the past, what, three, four years? to automatically announce a new Pokemon game main series at the beginning of every year. Like um, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, um, Black and White 2, um, X and Y, they were all announced early on within the year beforehand that they came out, you know? Or not the year beforehand, but earlier in that year that they came out. So we saw this with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire where it was announced in I don't know exact dates, so please don't crucify me on this, but Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, or as was announced like early 2014 and it came out late 2014 or if it wasn't announced early 2014 it was definitely early 2013 but yeah i it, it's tough for me to remember exact numbers with this but the point is is that a lot of people were expecting a new pokemon game to be announced early this year like in february january and we're about to leave march now with still no announcement of a main series game and i know there's a lot of other poketubers who are like waiting hand and foot for this new information like is there going to be a new game um can we do news coverage on it blah, blah blah and i definitely would be one of them now i know some of you guys were like you know why do you even care about pokemon anymore you kind of stopped caring and it wasn't exactly me stopped caring but rather i just couldn't get with oras i mean it was a remake sure but i didn't really even like ruby and sapphire that much as games i mean i like them but you know i wasn't as hyped for oras as i was like hard gold soul silver but still that, that wasn't the main reason the main reason was that i kind of got tired with the pokemon series babying you you know i mean like in the one player campaign mode campaign it, it basically just holds your hand and guides you through and babies you so much even though pokemon's like what the third most popular gaming franchise on the planet they still feel the need to baby people because, you know, they attract a younger audience and whatnot. But I just didn't see the pull for Oras as much. I still haven't played it to this day. <laughs> I still haven't played it to this day. But I mean, who knows? Now that I have time, maybe I'll do a little, you know, a small little let's play of it. But I mean, small. Like, I'm only showing everything. But I mean, still. Um, yeah, I'm just, I just wanted to make this video just talking about, you know, if there is going to be a release for a brand new Pokemon mainstream or main series game this year, what exactly is going to be the time that it's announced, you know? Because the closer we get to the summertime, the more impractical it seems to give an announcement for a mainstream game that's coming out. I keep saying mainstream, a main series game that's coming out, you know? I mean, if it was, if it was me, or rather any game company, as soon as you're able to put out a trailer or put out the news that there is a new game coming out, you want that hype to start building from early on so that way more people will be impacted by it before the launch, so more sales. But maybe Pokemon's trying like a different strategy out. It seems really impractical now that they're not releasing a new main series game because they've been doing so so consistently and it almost seems like it's the norm now, but you know, maybe we're getting caught off guard here. Maybe Oras will be the only new game for the next two years, who knows? But X and Y was packed with content. And at this point now, the only, I don't know, at this point now, even though ORAS, um, even though X and Y did have a lot of content with 6th gen and ORAS has a lot of content with 6th gen, maybe that's it. Maybe they don't really wanna introduce a new region with the same old Pokemon because we're in 6th gen now. And if they release a new game, it's still going to be in 6th gen. I highly doubt we'll get a 7th gen Pokemon game right now. They will probably wait until the next new handheld is announced. Maybe the new 3D. Oh, okay. Here's news. Maybe maybe the next new Pokemon game with brand new Pokemon will be for the new 3DS because it technically is a new console and it will have games exclusive to it. So who knows? Maybe we're looking at the next new Pokemon game for seventh generation Pokemon being on the new 3DS. Now, if that happened, I would definitely be down. I would definitely play that shit. But I mean, let me know what you guys think of this theory. Um, I think it's a solid theory. I mean, the new 3DS is technically a new console. It is a new handheld. So I mean, I think it could work out, but We'll see as time rolls on, we will see exactly what goes down with the fate of Pokemon main series titles. Um, hey, either way, I'll be covering it as soon as any information is out. So definitely stay locked into your boy. I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.